the bells are flipping. until next week. their southern diner car. Oh my god, don't you don't. Just don't. Last time I was here, I thought the long game was shaving her foot. because he works here like full time. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody else works here full time except for Charles and Jacob. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's a historian on most of the trains. Yeah, I thought I heard it. You might have. here the Princeton. Yes, sir. AKA a modified Southern Precon. Yes, sir. So you haven't seen any steamers in a while? No, no. You didn't even come during the 60th? No, I had such a day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I just, I'm getting another TVRM shirt because I out, you know that 4501, the one that I had? Yeah, I'll, I had a grip, finally. I'm not going to see, I thought I was earlier, like, if I was wearing, like, a normal thing. I had, uh, I was just here, I'm getting my I bought this in they were, Kennesaw. They were much more slim than I bought, I bought this in Kennesaw when I went to see the general. saying but I can't talk to him which thing the only difference. God you scared me because I thought you were still on the other side of the vestibule and they moved the 5288 as you can see yeah I don't really want to move oh uh, it's because they need that tent right there for doubt <laughs> they out with Thomas uh -huh. yeah it's on the 20th 
Yeah, I might be here for it, but only to ride behind the 01. Uh, they usually pull it with tag 80 with Thomas on the end. Dude, I saw a cab part of the like, Thompson tank engine thing. Oh, yeah. Was it the one at Straws? Uh, no, it was in here. Oh. It's like, it's hard to block climbing like a real military. I'm built different and I'm <laughs> not different. I'm special. I need special, I need special people in my life. Special. Can I touch that? Yeah, no, it don't. Solo. Have you been to the new exhibit building? No. Uh, well, they got model trains in there. The one back here? That one. We've been in that one years ago at Rail Camp. Yeah. I, oh, that one down there. I don't even notice that one. I'm yeah, they bought it not too long ago and they put exhibits inside it, a speeder car. Yeah. I think this is the one of the engineers that blows it wide at the grade down here. <laughs> Oh no. Same old miles it is. I'm going for that one day where it's just like a little train on couple and then trying to like one of those in the train movie that like there's a runaway train. Yeah. And we're gonna track it on the table. Like that's like my dog. Like living like the 1930s, like the flip bag, you know, just being every day, rubbing the beach Yeah. Well, actually, I think the 30s, he has the E and F in it. Oh,
is this a shot of the whistle?
dogs will start flipping. Bad guy. Flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. Yeah. Funny bell. horsepower electric motor which is located just under our operator shed. Ready with you all. Now I did mention in a moment ago our turntable is 80 feet long. Your locomotive today at number 4501 is 85 feet in length. So it does have a little bit of overhang off of the turntable. For that reason we do ask everyone to remain well behind that yellow safety line painted in front of you on the ground. It'll keep everybody safe. And with that we get to see our beautiful locomotive number 4501 into the turntable. Your locomotive day is Southern Railway number 4501. It was built in 1911 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It is an MS1 class Mikado locomotive, Mikado being its wheel range with 8280. It has two small pilot wheels here in the front of the locomotive, eight large driving wheels, and two small for Southern Railway. It was the first of 182 MS1 class uh, Mikados built for the Southern Railway. And of those 182, only one survived. So that is the 4501 here behind me. The remaining 181 sisters would all unfortunately meet the Scrapper's Torch. Yeah. I'm gonna run it off the turn table again. Okay, then I'll come up here. Uh, Can I actually do that? Oh, uh, just barely. Uh, Slappy in the pit. Now before we get too far into this, I would like to point out a, few, uh, a couple of gentlemen here on our locomotive. First of all is our engineer, Andrew. Everybody say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew Jordan. Just on the other side of the cab, you can't see <laughs> our fire with Tyler. Everybody say hi, Tyler. Tyler! We got these gentlemen on our locomotive with the yellow numbers. We have that on all our projections. Now the 4501 here would remain in service on the Southern Railway up until 1948. That guy's gonna get in 1948, was retired by the Southern Railway in favor of the Florida Diesel Electric different. Locomotive. From the Southern Railway, it would be sold to a, a small uh, short line railway in Stern's Kentucky, known as the Kentucky and Tennessee Railway, where it would operate until 1964. In 1964, even the short line railroad of the Kentucky and Tennessee Railway was to come to decolization. <laughs> That's where the 4501 comes into the uh, Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum comes into the 4501 story. In 1964, we went to the Railway with an offer of $5,000 to purchase the 4501. They accepted our offer graciously, and today we have our beautiful 4501 in service. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Now the reason that, that uh, railroads like the Southern and the KNC would replace their steam locomotives with diesels is for one reason and one reason only. And that one reason is money. It is much cheaper to operate steam uh, diesel locomotives compared to a steam locomotive. Steam locomotives require a lot more maintenance.
It's a high roller. Miles. High roller. High roller. Those things go drive drive on the track truck. Oh yeah. I wonder if that's gonna be like a Oh yeah, that's gonna be No. That's an automatic no. I guess it had it where it's uh W two fifty one. Like thirty or Yummy. Yeah. It does. So are you leaving after we get off? Uh, Alright, because I want to go down to the bridge and watch this one depart. Where y'all gonna go? Where y'all going? Maybe we can get to go do some
or if they're in the river.
bells on a roll today. 